Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm reviewing a book on children. It's Adoption Law, a practical guide. And this has come to us in the Practical Guide series from Wildy uh, Simmons and Hill Publishing. They produce these excellent guides which make our lives a great deal easier. Uh, they're very useful for both practitioners and for unrepresented parties. This book is being written by two people who would be well known to uh, people such as myself at the family bar. Um, this is Nazreen Pierce, who's retired as a, a judge, and Richard Budsworth. I've given the review title, discussed it with Elizabeth, and I was the lead writer in this particular uh, book uh, review. The title I've given it is Excellent Advice from Wildy covering adoption law in this new practical guide for the 2020s. And I'm recording this at the height of the coronavirus uh, <coughs> uh, outbreak that we have uh, at the moment. And obviously I don't know what the future will be, but I wanted to at least do this review. Here is the book anyway. It's a paperback, nice and light. And you can see the spine. And then on the back, you can probably make a little bit out. There's a little bit of blurb, which I've used for the review and some information about the authors. Um, the author, Nazarene Pierce, is a retired circuit judge, and Richard Budworth uh, is a barrister practicing from doc three Dr. Johnson's buildings. The book itself, as I say, is quite light, 300 pages. The um, index at the back <coughs> excuse me, is by page numbering, and it's quite a useful index. I found it quite helpful because it's got, obviously, adoption being A, has a huge amount for the letter A. References are to page numbers, as it says there. If we go to the front of the book, you can see the main front page there, and a little bit more detail there. Then after that you've got the blurb, which is there, and then you've got the contents section. It's very much the structure, the house style of Wild is as a publisher. Uh, you've got a lot of interesting, useful information there, which I hope you can see. Um, you can see the various chapters going running along. Uh, all the various all the various headings are there, so you should, as I say, find things quite easily. And then you've got towards the end, you've got the various uh, uh, adoption uh, points. Then you've got in total twenty chapters. The final chapter is the disclosure of information. Then there's the index right at the back. Then there's a preface, which is well worth reading. I've borrowed a little bit from the preface, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, then you've got the table of cases. Not too many cases, you'll be pleased to hear. There are a few. Then the statutes, of course, which we have. The usual suspects are there. The statutory inference, likewise. You should find the usual things that you're looking for, uh, depending on what it is you're specifically doing. Then there's the table of European and international material, which, of course, is with us for some considerable time. Then you've got uh, a table of statutory guidance, which, again, is very helpful because of this area of law. After that, um, we have also a table of judicial PDs, practice directions and guidance. Not very much, it's all from the President's Division, uh, President's uh, stuff from the Family Division. Uh, then a list of abbreviations, very helpful again because it's so easy to forget some of these abbreviations. Then an introduction, you've got some paragraph numbering you can see there on when you're looking at it. Uh, so it, it runs through logically all the way through. Um, there's no footnoting as such, so everything is actually included within the main um, chapters themselves. And in fact, the first the introductory chapter is, is very short. It goes straight into why, who may adopt, people who may adopt, and it leads on from there. And I'll say a little bit about that in the review, because there have been problems with this area of law. I remember now, a very long time ago, when I first studied the Adoption Act itself, part of my degree, family degree, uh, LLB, I did family law, the um, rules have changed a bit. been a lot of difficulty in the 30 odd years since I did the exams and I have practice in this area and I've dealt with some adoption cases. They are difficult, they're not easy cases at all, they are public or children matters and you are dealing with very high, can deal with very highly charged uh, situation. So I think this book will help many people who have gone past the point of, well, should I adopt, can I adopt, what, what, is, what is involved? 
into what becomes a really difficult situation. And I say this quite clearly, it is mentioned in the book, but clearly there is a need now for a complete overhaul of this law. Um, that, I hope, will come at some stage once the national emergency is over concerning the coronavirus. But we do need to have legislation in this area in the future. But I believe a lot of things are going to change quite quickly during 2020. What do we say about the book then? We say, well, Nazarene Pierce and um, Richard Budsworth, or Budworth rather, are to be congratulated on this excellent new work from Wildes, which is now falling over. I'm going to put it there so it doesn't fall over again. It's not a very, it's actually a paperback, so it's not exactly the strongest book in the world. So what I'll do is I'll put it there like that. And I'm hoping it's still not going to stand up, unfortunately. So let's put it like that. Might be a bit better. That's still not really working either. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll do it like that. I think that, <coughs> that will solve the problem of why the book <laughs> is falling over all the time. So what do we say? Well, Nazarene Pearson and uh, Richard Budworth are to be congratulated, as I say, on the excellent new work from Wildey, uh, Simmons and Hill Publishing. The authors intend to give us a practical guide which will be accessible not only to lawyers and to professionals who are involved in the adoption process, that's of course the all the different people, not necessarily legally qualified, local authority personnel and other, other people, but all are social workers of course, but also to non-professionals and others. So it's got, I think, a very wide appeal. The purpose of the book from the authors is to offer an understanding of the adoption process and the rights and obligations of all concerned in it. Um, as is the case with all the Wildly Practical Guides, readers are advised in all instances to refer to and follow the relevant statutory provisions, regulations, rules, practice directions and case law as they emerge. And clearly that's important because this is an area of law where there, there is a reasonable amount of casework. There's obviously a lot of statutory uh, authority as well. Now, let me give you an example. The Adoption and Children Act 2002, setting out the statutory framework, for instance, contains 115 sections and five schedules. You can see immediately how complex it is. And basically, um, it, it's very detailed in every um, way. And the reason for that is that these provisions are supported by secondary legislation, international conventions, rules, guidance, practice notes and case law that has developed since, of course, this particular act came into force. And you can see again uh, with what I'm saying that um, you've got to keep up to date. So what we've got here is that Pierce and Budworth have given us, I think, a comprehensive guide to the law, practice and procedure as professionals. That's the main purpose, I think, of the book. But in addition, I think it's going to be very useful for those who are concerned we were involved in any aspect of the adoption process. And having looked at it, you've got a lot of people who you wouldn't necessarily assume are involved, but they do have a role to play in how a child is actually adopted. And there are ten, in total 10 to 20 chapters, and the structure of the work is set out by paragraph numbering for ease of reference with a useful index at the back of the book, um, <clears throat> again by page numbering. So you should be able to find things pretty easily. Um, we're given coverage of each stage of the uh, adoption process, including the always difficult issue of contact between the child and their birth parents. That's, that's the thing that's probably the worst aspect of this particular uh, area of law. Also reviewed are the alternative options available by reference to the relevant case law and regulations concerning domestic uh, adoptions as well as adoptions with a foreign element. Of course, again, that, that will cause and can cause in, within the England and Wales jurisdiction a lot of problems. Registration of adoption and the sensitive issues of disclosure of information, that's right at the back of the book, are also considered. Although throughout you're advised um, to refer to the leading detailed authorities as well, because this remains what its purpose is, which is a short practical guide at about 300 um, pages. <clears throat> the, 
The writers also look at the statutory obligations which are placed on um, and responsibilities which are placed on adoption agencies. <coughs> that also includes support services and other professional bodies, local authorities and so forth, who are concerned with adoption towards all the parties involved. And I think that gives a, a much better idea of what the problems are. These of course include the position of the child who is the subject of the proceedings which will be of paramount importance throughout of course. Now adoption law, the book, this one here, outlines the rights of those parties to challenge decisions made by the professional bodies involved in the process and the tragedy of the long waiting list for, child, uh, for children to be adopted persists as a major problem and there remains an urgent need, of course, to deal with the issue of who can and cannot adopt. I'll say a little bit more about that in just a minute. We feel that the book will give some comfort to some comfort to readers who are prospective adopters facing difficulties when they offer love, care and a stable home every child in care deserves, but are turned down. So thank you very much, Wildy, and to um, Nazreen and Richard very much indeed for this book and also for continuing, as you all do, to publish these excellent guides for us. The law is as stated at the 29th of November 2019. The publication of the paperback came out on the 28th of February 2020, and I'm reviewing this a month later. And if I can just finish by saying one thing about it, there's the book again, that if you read the front preface, I think that will be of some use to you because they say notwithstanding the fact that when Cameron was in office he acknowledged it was a tragedy that so many children were waiting to be placed. Uh, the statistics show that 4,330 children had an adoption decision but were not yet placed as at the 31st of March 2019 and again it gives another set of figures. Then talks about the Manda case which I'm not going to go through now and it then refers to a comment by the then Secretary of State for Education, Gavin Williamson, talking about uh, this particular quote, which I think is worth mentioning because it's uh, very relevant. Adoption can transform the lives of children waiting in care for a permanent loving home. I applaud the hard work and commitment of the social workers who dedicate themselves to giving children the kind of home environment that many of us take for granted and urge them not to shy away from putting children forward for adoption. And I'm glad that he said that, because I believe that that, that that is the essence of the work in this particular area. And it's nice to have the um, social workers actually um, singled out, if you like, for special praise, because they have a very difficult job within the whole of this process. Uh, we, we, of course, as lawyers, have to deal with it as well, but I do understand the position they're in. So, again, thank you to all concerned for a really first-class book on adoption. Bye-bye.